This is the video review of the Yamato VF-19 Custom Fire Valkyrie. And there is a very specific reason why this is the last figure I'll be reviewing today. And it's not because it's the best. Alright, so this is the VF-19 and it is a huge jet. I mean, absolutely massive, I mean quite a bit bigger than my hand and it I really like this jet mode it looks quite a bit better than a VF uh, than a 1 100th VF 19s high metal figure I reviewed earlier especially back here where there aren't really any gaps and that, that was the big well not big problem that was a problem I had with the uh, um, high metal uh, VF 19s figure and uh, in this mode, I can already tell you there are some kind of unforgivable flaws. For example, these wings here, they are very, very thin. They are thinner than on the... I'm probably going to mention that figure quite a bit, the um, uh, 1 100th uh, high metal v, uh, VF-19S figure. They're even thinner than on that. And the plast this red plastic is very soft, so there are already quite a few nicks and dings in here, and that... And that kind of disturbs me. Then also you have these parts right here, which just move up and down a lot. They they don't lock into place, and that is kind of a problem. More of an aesthetic problem than a functionality problem, but it's still a bit of a problem. And then, well, overall this is a very nice sculpt. I like the jet mode, and it's very clean. You can't really tell what anything is except for the legs. You can't tell where anything comes from. And I, I like that. It's just... There's one thing about this figure I can't get over. And I'll save that to last because I do want to show this figure. And, and the one thing I like is why it's the last figure I'm reviewing tonight. And I can already tell it's starting to annoy me. You'll Once I tell you what it is, you'll understand. Now let's get the transformation. First thing you do is you take these yellow bits here and you pop them up. and that will start to free the legs. Then you'll pop these wing, these tail bits forward, and then you'll pull forward on this wing bit here, and that will let you pull the leg here down. Pull out here again. That'll let you um, pull this leg down. It's pulling down on the knee. And yeah, I, I apologize ahead of time. There's really no way I can keep this all on camera. It's a giant figure. And then down here, what we'll do next is you'll, since I glued the gearbox knees together, I can't use them to get them out of the way of these. So what you have to do is you have to push from under here, and then pull out and sort of angle. It doesn't damage anything. And in fact, these things are on the slider joints in here, so this is it works perfectly. And then pull these forward, and yeah, that's how these work when you don't have access to the gearbox knees. Pull it forward, push it forward, and then pull these out straight. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to wait. Let's see. It's been a while since I've done things. At least for now, pull the canards forward. And the canards are just pegged, and they come off easily. But it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, pull these up and push them down. Pull up, push down, and then. At this point, you can take the leg bits here and hinge, hinge forward. And there's a little spring-mounted little red plastic bit in here that um, pushes down when you rotate these forward and pops back up when it's out of the way. And those keep the legs pretty stable up here. And then that will um, this will come undone. And let's see, you can push this crotch piece up here. And it just if you see how everything's just sort of getting away, everything else that's sort of one of the problems with this figure is that it's very hard to keep things out of the way because it's um, you're transforming because it's just so big and it's hard to get a handle on everything. Anyway, you'll pull this piece here down, and it'll hinge down, pull this nose bit down, and then push this forward, and then snap this up and fold it back until it's flat. Then you'll open the cockpit, and this, this actually ends up being fairly neat. You'll rotate this forward so that um, the bathroom of Basura is sitting properly, and then you'll close this over. And what ends up happening is that there's a little hatch here. There's a hatch on the part on the chest part that's going to fold over, so you can open the hatch, you can actually see Nekibasura sitting inside the BF-19 Fire Valkyrie. Anyway, you set that like that, and then you'll start bringing this over. Well, hold on. Split the arms. Yeah, I'll just leave the shield up now. Split the arms, fold them forward. Don't fold them all the way forward here just yet. Um, pull the head up and pull it back and rotate it around. And then when you saw the head went up there, these little red flaps here that went up so they had room. If these are all the way forward, those things can't go up anyway. So this up and then start rotating it over. Now, I, I apologize about not being able to keep this on camera. It's just a giant figure. This will come over. And then slowly over and push the head back. And that will sort of lock it against the nose piece in there. And then this nose will snap in here. And then you fold it down and 
the nose will snap into this little part here fairly securely, then these will fold up to fill up any gaps. Then straighten out the legs, fold these back. And now let's focus on the arms for now. On the arms, there are these little, uh, they normally hinge like this, so you pull down these sleeves from up here and that'll solidify that joint. And that's a transformation joint. Then open this up, flip out the hands, fold it forward, and then push that in like that. And then there are these, those that come out. And then there's this one back here. Do the same thing on the other side. Pull out that sleeve, open up the hand compartment, and then Close that. Then with the legs, you'll pull out the feet. And I just pull out the feet all the way because you get quite a bit more range with the feet. If you do that, although it does look kind of spindly and ugly when you do that. And just how big this figure is, is one detractor for it because most of the joints aren't quite as strong as they need to be. Flip open the feet. I mean, when you have him with two legs on the ground, it's fine, but one leg doesn't quite cut it. And let's see, almost completed the transformation. As you can see, it's basically the same transformation as the um, 1100 high metal figure, with the only main difference being that it's bigger, so it's harder to keep, so it's bigger and everything weighs more. And, well, it's a big figure, I mean, it looks nice on the shelf, very shiny. Let's see, let's get the shield back on. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that transformation was a big jumbled mess, I'm not going to bother editing it or redoing it just because it'll always be that way. But yeah, let's see. It's very tall. It looks very good, it looks very show accurate. If you pick it up by the chest, it locks into place very well. And just looking at it, it doesn't seem like it'd be a flawed figure, it seems like it'd be a very cool figure. But there are several problems. For one, there are die cast, the feet are on die cast ball joints and they're oddly shapen so they don't seem to quite go quite where you want. They don't move like actual ball joints. They, it's like the balls have an oblong side to them. And in some... It just, it just doesn't work very well. And then the die cast is already wearing down, so the feet joints are getting loose. So already the range of poses is getting limited. And then it's a big joint, a big figure, a heavy figure, like this whole back piece here is die cast. It's got die cast in his legs and um, quite a few internal die cast um, skeleton pieces. So it's a very heavy figure and the legs are just very loose. I mean, I've, re I've recently tightened them a little bit. But I mean, like, see that droop? That's unacceptable on a figure like this. And then the outward is limited is not only limited but weak too and then the ratchet in the knee shouldn't be that weak and then like I already mentioned the feet so yeah just keeping this figure tight enough to actually assume any poses or be playable not really feasible I'll go over the articulation the head goes up and down side to side very stiff joint actually and is um generally posable the arms go forward back out rotate above the elbow and get 90 degrees at the elbow the hands can turn and pivot and the fingers and thumb are jointed the you get this motion if you need it the legs go forward back out, bend at the knee, and have some rotation outward, but inwards. So this um, knee pad piece doesn't move forward. You can't move them without bending it forward and stressing it a little bit. And um, that's actually a problem when, with the gear walk mode on this, is that when you try and uh, bring the uh, gear walk knees forward, is that the... Um, You'll think they go more forward than they do, and you end up pushing this knee joint forward a little bit, and uh, you can stress the tip of it, and in general, just... The legs on this thing are absolute crap. Can't believe they passed the design. Well, anyway, you get knee joint, quite a bit of knee joint here. Um, these wing things can turn around and, in general, do everything they need to get out of the way. Then you have 
side to side on the hinge, that's staying pretty tight, and then you have this ball joint which is loose in some areas, tight in others, and is just generally a pain to work with. And yeah, that's the v Yamato's VF-19 figure, and I can't stand it. Now the one flaw that I'm talking about, that I keep um, uh, referencing, and the reason why I just can't, well, literally can't stand to touch this figure, is this red plastic, it's very oily. So when I play with this, I come away with my hands feeling greasy, when I hold it, I feel a little bit of slippage. When I hold it, it just it's very and the tactile sensation is very abhorrent for me. I can't stand it. And with how much I have to touch it to transform it, and then how much you have to do to make sure to stay stable and doesn't just flop. It's just you always have to have your hands on it and I don't know, I mean it's just Despite all the good sculpting and the, for the most part, good design, except for the legs, but for the most part, it's good design, has good sculpting. The robot mode, lo the Patroid mode looks amazing, and the um, fighter mode looks amazing, but it's just it's a crap toy. Well, that's all. Thank you for watching. I'll probably have to split it.